Uh, hey guys, uh, today we're gonna be continuing the Gypsy Adventure tutorial. Alright, now let's get right into it. So, if you haven't watched the first part, go watch that, because this lag is from that first part. Uh, link will be in the description, as well as the pinned comment. Alright, now, once you're done with the lower leg, like this, so these are the steps that you need to take. Uh, so, use your scale tool. Uh, remember that you don't need scale you can find if you're smart enough you can find other ways to do it just anchor the joint li like so just put it in a brick all right same with this joint I'm just gonna scale it in like that also outward so all right so you have it in a brick now all right next step you need to do is you place like this one and then you can build up two like that and then out three one two three nope one two three there you go place a seat place some post and then you place a servo like that place a ladder like that and place this and this is what is called a fly glitch. So this fly glitch is going to allow me to duplicate stuff. Uh, but before we actually duplicate, let's set up the seat. So the seat needs to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 blocks. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then place it on the 8th block right here. Alright, let's... And then that should give you the correct position. All right, let me go save this quickly. For duplicating purposes, I'm gonna quickly move on to purple team. Cause, uh, so yellow and purple teams are the optimal uh, teams to duplicate on. So let me quickly load again. Oh, here's a drift tutorial. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, go watch that. Alright, so here's how you duplicate. So you're going to need a lever to use this. You can also use like two cakes stacked on top of each other like this. That also works. But uh, I like using levers because I don't want to have to place two cakes. Alright, so just place the lever. I'm going to delete all this stuff. Alright, next thing either you do, either you unanchor using launch or you use the tool. I prefer using the tool so I can still build. So that's just going to fall over. Alright, and then I fly over here. Alright, now we fly back using this glitch. So you have to hold space in order to move. Uh, so, you see how I'm moving in the direction that is opposite that I'm facing so basically you always move backwards uh use shift lock in order to turn otherwise it's it's kind of hard turning using the W A S D. alright so I've done the fly glitch a lot of times due to me making Exia so that's why I know how to navigate with this alright so the next thing you do is you sit in this seat that we measured out earlier let's do that over and yep so once you're in the seat you're gonna have to anchor everything but if you have other stuff on the plot like i do right here make sure to also anchor those in a way like i'm gonna put this in a brick so all the joints are anchored so it doesn't flop over all right i'm gonna do the same thing over here over here as well so i'm gonna make sure that it doesn't flop over when i because if you remember in your tool first you have to unanchor and then you re-anchor all right and that's that's basically it all right that's how you duplicate the leg uh all right let me remove all this so once you have duplicated the leg you can remove all these all these bricks oops i deleted the brick Uh, here you go. Nope. Alright, so, yep. Alright, I'm gonna do the next part of the build. 
bear with me because I do I still don't have the design memorized and I probably won't memorize it uh, if you need a full list of the materials it's in the first video as well all right so I'm gonna use scale tool to speed up the process of this it's scale tool is optional like you can make it without scale like I said earlier but I, I like using scale because I'm a scale brick maker all right let's keep going uh, I'm gonna quickly turn that off. Two, three, two, three. Oh. I'm gonna quickly. Don't do this. I'm just quickly measuring against this. Nope. Too short. All right. And I'm gonna mute until something comes up. All right. Here we go.
Alright, so pay attention closely. Um, so for this part, you do not need scale. Wait, why is this brick here? So, um, like I said, well, you do need scale for this part, unless you use poles. So, what I'm about to do is I'm going to use scale to make these smaller. So, let's see, first part of this is... Wait, one quick thing. Like that, and like that. Alright, so here, I'm going to do this red detailing. If you don't have a scale tool, that's perfectly fine. Just fill it in however you please. So I'm going to scale like that so it's kind of inward. Alright. Alright, also pay attention here. So scale inward slightly. First, let me let me exit out of this quickly so I can get a better view. Um, there we go. So continue scaling. See how these are like kind of small gaps. All right, so scale this brick back one block and scale this red continue this sort of pattern that we made all right like this and last but not least this one do the same on the other side and then after this we're going to duplicate again these thighs and then we're going to edit the thighs after the thighs we're going to do the lower torso which is pretty pro quickly do this last part on this part there you go. And let me check over everything. Yep. That seems to be everything on the thigh that I can do at this moment. Alright, so we're going to show you how to duplicate again. Alright. Uh, let's see. So, make your duplication thing right here. On this block in the very center. Of this gray thing right here. Alright, so. What we want to do? Up to... One, two, out three. One, two, three. There we go. Remember, chair, poles, pull again, scroll down, get your servo, and then you find your ladder. Then again, uh, hmm. We're gonna be deleting the joints. So it's perfectly fine. Uh, we don't have to put any bricks. Alright, so I'm gonna save. Or it, it, if you don't want to duplicate like this, or you, you are unable to, feel free to just watch the tutorial again and redo it. So what we want to do is we're gonna delete all of these gray parts. So make sure you save before you delete these gray parts, because they're still gonna be part of the build. So the reason we delete these gray parts is because they're connecting it to the hinge, which we don't need, and also we already have it on this side. So what we're basically doing is moving it onto the other side, so I'm gonna use my tool, an anchor, and fly over again, just like how we did in the beginning. Alright, now we make our way over here. So I believe the duplication point is right here, so as long as you're past this little thing right here, then you, you can feel free to load and not uh, be afraid of this being deleted. Alright, it's done. Alright, so remember the measurements is 8 blocks. So now we have to do 8 blocks from that seat again and place another seat. So what we want to do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now you place a chair and you sit in that chair. Alright, here we go. Let me sit. I'm too fat. Oh my gosh, I sat in the chair and then I got out. I'm doing that. There we go. Alright, 
So now make sure before you re-anchor everything, put everything in a brick like this. I must do the same on the, the actual template. Oops, uh, all right. I'm gonna re-anchor, unanchor, anchor. There we go. Now I'm gonna delete all the fly apparatus. See, I don't know what the plural is, all right. Now I'm gonna delete the bricks as well. All right, there you go, your other thigh, all right. I'm gonna mute again. Uh, so these are kind of gonna be mirror reflections, which is why the detailing and the thighs themselves aren't even complete. So, all right, just follow along. So now that we finished the thighs, we're gonna do the joints and the lower torso, and then that will end off this video. Alright, so place a brick here. Hinge. Hinge. Uh, get the gray. Paint these gray. Or paint them however you want if you're not following the color scheme in this tutorial. Alright, looks like another brick. Double hinge. And on the other side as well. And let's see. How did Rat do it? Or maybe it's actually single hinge. Let me go check. Nope, it looks to be. A rat designed the joints, which is pretty cool. All right, actually, no front hinge. All right, this one should be colored blue, and this one should be. Let's see. Place two half bricks. So what you need to do here is you need to use your scale tool, or it can be, or you can find a way to work around using the scale tool. I'm just going to use it just to make things easier. Let's see, after you place those two bricks, place a little brick on the inside, like, there you go, there you go, let's see what we do next, alright, so it's two, like this, place one up here, and then you get your post, and you place it right there. These will act sort of as joint limiters, so your leg does not kick super high. Uh, let's see. The next step is making this little circle area. Let me see how you make it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's four. So this is four by. Alright, so I need to make a four by. Four by two brick. Along 
the center of this. So. See, how do I want to do this? So place it right here. Scale up to four or up three, so it's four lo blocks long. One, two, three, four. Scale like this, and then connect them like this. Remember, these should be gray. Same with the posts. Uh, they are different types of gray, which is why I'm doing this. Nice. Now that we got that, we want to scale one, two. Wait. This might be too long. Let me recalculate. One, two, three. Yep, it was too long, so should be this block right here that I'm, I'm scaling right now should be three blocks long so two three and then out like that so they're connected again oops a little bit too much all right again first verse or second verse same as the first and let's see what's the next step our next step is to create another three by three brick Three by four, actually. No, no, three by three. My bad. All right. Once you got that three by three brick, seems like you place a two by two brick or two by one brick here. Scale it out. Not too much. Let's see next step. It's so hard seeing everything, tr trying to find it out. <sighs> Alright, next is... So it's one, two... So it's two by... Alright, so you place it around here, I believe. Let's go all the way out, down one block, so it ends up like this. Alright, now you sort of have Gypsy Avengers crotch piece. Alright, so next part. Get a brick. Place it here. One, two. Next part. You place it on this corner. One, two, three, four. I believe. And then if you want, you can scale it back like this. So that's kind of intersecting. Uh, don't don't worry about this. I think this will probably yeah. This this is not that big of a deal. All right, grab your blue. All right, now we're gonna do this part. So, so place brick up. This one like this. I'm gonna do quickly the same on the other side. Uh, don't don't do this part. I'm just checking if it's all lined up. Looks like I am slightly off. Let's see. What did I mess up? Nope. This part is off as well. Did I make this too tall? Alright. Give me a second while I find out what I messed up on. Alright guys, so what I found is that you need to shift everything down half a block, so this entire like middle area shifted down half a block, so I'm gonna do that using my scale tool. Uh, you would have to delete it if you don't, like delete this center area, so this is what I'm doing right now. You can see, I'm just moving everything down. Half a block down here as well. Oops, too much. Alright, down. Down, down. This one goes down, down, and this one goes down and down. There you go. Alright, now we can continue. So, brick here, brick here, up, 
that corner. Next is out. After that, it looks like out again. Uh, again, don't do this part. I'm just checking. Yep, everything seems aligned. So scaled out. One, two blocks. One, two. So it's three blocks long now. Right now, after. Actually, make it two. One. Next thing that you should do is place a block like this. Same on the other side. Brick like this. Like this. And like this. And now up. Like this. And like this. And now one, two, three, four. You should have a four block long thing connecting these two together so one so this is already one now it's two three four there you go all right let me quickly fill in the stuff here so now what you want to do place this here this here this here right, this Actually, I'm gonna scale that just to keep our parts count low so we don't make a too laggy mech. And then you go down here and you connect it to this. Alright, I'm gonna quickly scale this. Man, shadows are annoying. I'm gonna turn off shadows just for a second. Alright, next part is this little under crotch piece, so we're going to continue this, so like this, like this again, and now we go under, kind of hook it, can't see how it is, it's kind of like this, alright, next part we do, I believe we do one more, Yep, one, two, three. All right, so one more of this. Now I believe you scale it out. Yep, you scale it out one block, so now it's two blocks long. And now you start your ascent up, back again, so like this. And then now you scale this one out again. All right, now this one, go in the corner, smush it, so it's half. Scale it out so it's like that. And then now you do it again. And I might have messed up somewhere. <sighs> Alright, let me check. This one's correct. Oh, I made this too long. Alright, I didn't mess up. Alright, never mind. So, scale this. So I'm going to delete this quickly, and I'm going to place like this, and like this, nope, not like that, what you need to do is you go place on the sides like this, and you place scale up and down, up, down, using one, one scale, alright, next part, place a brick, and then now, place a brick like this so they're not touching so it kind of looks like armor plating in a way all right next i'm gonna do this little midsection area uh shoot i forgot how long this inner brick is all right quickly let me go take a look at this joint Obviously, you can't do this. I'm just using this as a measurement. Alright, so... It looks like... In the very center, right here, place a brick, scale it up. One block, two block, three block, four blocks tall. So in, 
So in total, it should be five blocks tall now. Right, let me put this back. Next thing you should do, place a block, or no, place a block to the side like this, and then just place it there. Oops, this should be gray. See, like, the way we do mech tutorials is we, we make the design first to kind of get a sense of it, and then we build upon it. But this way, I think just making them, like, recording us building the mech might be easier. So we might do that from now on. Alright, next. Place this here. Place this. No, this here. And that there. Color them all gray. Looks like a hinge. A hinge on top of this. Doesn't matter which way it's facing for this, so I'm just gonna face it downward. And looks to be a giant brick. Alright, let me get the dimensions of this giant brick. Alright, let me see if this is how much does it go out. This giant brick will be kind of the basis, I guess. Alright. It will be the backbone of this mech. It's where everything is centered. The reason we made it a giant brick is to make things balance without having to use invisible blocks. Right, let's see. Oh man. It's so hard to see. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna set transparency to 50% so I can see how big this brick is. So, based off the hinge, it goes out one block. goes back out a whole block, I think. Let me quickly check that. So off the hinge. Oh, it's a weird brick. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no, it's not. Alright, there we go. Yep, alright. I'm gonna use these as dimensions. Let me quickly change the transparency back to zero. Alright, so what you need to do, place a brick, scale it back. Scale it outwards, one block each. Like that. And I believe it's like a 3x3, three three, but... Uh, let me see, let me... Yeah, so scale it out three like this and scale it up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks up, so now it's eleven blocks tall. Alright, so this is the backbone. We're just gonna leave it because right now we're just focusing on this thing. Alright, let me see. Like, it's. Is this part connected? Alright, so it's gonna be the same thing repeated over and over again for each of these middle sections. And then after that, we're gonna stop because I am lacking the time. Alright, let's see. So, place it there. Make sure it's blue. Up like that and like that on the other side. Let's see up. I'm gonna leave this uncolored because it is gray and I, I don't want to color it right now. Like this. All right, let me quickly do a vibe check. Yep, it's vibing. Outwards. the other 
side. Alright, let's see. up something? Nope. One more. Like this. And now you place it like that, I believe. Yep. Nope. One more inward. Like this. So. You go up. This part is slightly inward. Place it in there. And there you go. That's a whole midsection done. You're gonna need to do this two more times so you get three midsections. So I'm gonna guide you through that quickly. All right, so like this, down, again. Uh, editor, do not speed this part up because I think just showing them would be better. Looks like I did something wrong here, so uh, this should be halfway inward, like this. So it should be like that. This should be slightly more inward as well. Same thing with this. Yeah, so now now it looks more flush. Alright, so now go like this. Alright, second section done. I'm gonna color these blue quickly. Alright, and the last section. After this last section, we're gonna end off the video because it's already like 45 minutes long. do the proto mg showcase no proto mg competition thing later let's see So after I color this, then you're done. All right, let's quickly color. Grab the gray value. This is all gray. Oh, also the detailing, I'm also gonna do. All right, and pull, 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 pull pull and a pull and then on the back it's like pull here 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 and here and now one quick thing as well is you make you add this on the very top one so just scale like that same thing here uh, I'm gonna quickly color these gray 
Or actually, not like this. More like something like this. So it should only be one block wide, but two blocks tall. Alright, and now for these accents, you color them red or whatever color you want. It's up to you. Alright, and yeah, I guess this will end off this part of this mech tutorial. This is the completed product right here. Uh, stay tuned for part three. Goodbye.